Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the process of activating chart trade mode, how to place trades directly through a chart or on a chart, and how to activate one-click trading. So if you weren't familiar with it already, ATAS allows you to trade directly through a chart and directly on a chart. So what I mean by this is, as you can see, I have my crosshairs activated, although not necessary. It definitely makes seeing the price action a lot easier so you can just you know hover over the specific price level you want to place an order at then you can right click and you'll see you have the option to buy or sell so this is nice because as you can see you can trade directly through a chart so for those of you that do prefer trading directly off of a chart and use indicators on your charts to help you place your trades this is going to be for you so you do have the option of, you know, placing a buy or sell limit from your chart. Now, this is great. And this leads on to the next point. And before I'm going to actually show you how to activate um, the chart trading panel, I'd like to show you this feature first. Now, you'll notice when you go to place these trades and I'm not going to actually place any trades in this video due to the fact that this is a live trading account. And I'm merely showing you the technical purposes of this feature, but you'll notice when you do go to trade live, if you were to place an order, you would first receive an order confirmation window. Now, this isn't necessarily a problem in any way, but when you do go to place an order and you're prompted with an order confirmation window, you'll notice that the market may fluctuate while you're configuring your order. Again, this may not be the end of the world, but this can have an effect on the actual price you're intending to trade. So just keep in mind there will be a small buffer period where you need to configure your order. Well, there's actually a way to avoid this and we can actually access this by going to our settings. So up in the top right hand corner here where my mouse is currently hovering over, you'll see this is the settings box. This will pop up the panel on the left hand side here. It by default, it should be on visual settings, but we're going to want to hover over trading settings and then come down to the bottom and you'll see one click mode now if we activate this this will pretty much avoid that order confirmation window the second i right click and click on sell limit or buy stop whatever the case is it will instantly be placed at that price level so i won't have to go in there and manually configure anything of that nature so i'm just going to deactivate this just in case i don't make any mistakes for now because again you can potentially, you know, accidentally click and your trade will just go right through. So that's the one reason just for liability reasons that one click is not enabled by default, just so you don't accidentally place trades. But, you know, everybody has their own method. So feel free to activate this or deactivate this as needed. So we can deactivate this for now. And now we can go up to the top left here. And this is where we're going to activate chart trader. So this is pretty much just going to give you buy and sell buttons in which you can pretty much configure orders directly from a chart. As you can see here, you do have the option to trade from chart. So, you know, you can, as you see here, and this is actually a good segue into why you should or shouldn't deactivate one click orders. As you saw, all I did was just left click right there on 1501.2 with chart trading from the chart activated and it automatically just went to go place me a buy order buy limit order to be specific. Now, again, this isn't necessarily a problem, but if you did have one click trading enabled and you just accidentally left click on a chart there, you're potentially going to, or you will place an order without even any order confirmation. It's just going to do it. So let's cancel this. As you can see, I'm hovering over with my crosshair. If you'll notice all the way to the left here, it does show you that there's a buy limit for a green and a sell stop for a red. So this is actually telling you with a left click, it'll be a buy limit. Now, as you can see, because I hovered above the market price, this actually becomes a sell limit and a right click becomes a buy stop. So your stops are always going to be associated with a right click of your mouse and a left click will be associated with your limit orders, whether it's buy or sell, depending on the side of the market that you choose to place your order on, it's, it's going to fluctuate. So just keep that in mind. If you need to, you can always refer to the left hand side of the screen there. And as you can see, they configure and change accordingly. So that's trading directly from a chart. Remember left click or right click is either a buy limit or a sell stop or vice versa. 
We can deactivate that if we want, and you'll see we can no longer trade from the chart with a left or right click. The only option is now right click and then choose from one of these two here. Now, other than that, and if you aren't really too familiar with ATAS so far, you do have these order entry buttons up here with that chart trading panel activated or chart trader, as I call it. So you can, you know, buy, sell at the market. You have buy and ask or buy, sell at the ask or buy your bid at the sell at the bid, excuse me. And then you do have cancel bids, cancel ask, cancel all and reverse positions. You can also close all positions and flatten everything with the close button. You can adjust PNL here. Take a look at what the PNL is on your all your trades for this specific contract. You can see your flattened orders or your entry orders. You can choose from your trading account using this drop down menu if you have multiple accounts. You can choose your order quantity here using the up or down arrow or manually typing something in. You can activate OCO orders. If you haven't watched our video on OCO orders, feel free to check that out. You can configure your order duration or flags using this drop down here. And then again, we have some advanced order strategies. We've covered this in another video as well, but you can click add strategy, choose from stop loss, take profit. This is pretty much a bracket order. You have break even bracket orders, and then you have bracket orders with a trailing um, settings attached to it. You can configure these all within the settings box right here. Once you do add a strategy, you can, this is just an easy way to configure after the fact. And that pretty much covers it for chart trading mode. So again, and just a brief rundown, you have a couple different options here. You can right click on a chart, do your buy or sells from here. You can activate the chart trader panel by left clicking this box up here. You'll see my crosshairs currently kind of hovering over it. It'll activate this on the right hand side. Or the other option is to enable trading from chart. Your right and left click on your mouse become chart trading buttons. And then I advise to probably, if you're doing this, go into settings and activate one click trading for the most efficient trading. Also, just to keep in mind, since we are here right now, you'll see that you can configure how you want your buys and sells accordingly right here. You're trading from chart mode. And then you can also configure how you want your stops or your stop limits configured, as well as the default slippage price. I should have mentioned that earlier, but it's a good thing we came back to these settings. So these will be your default slippage settings for your stop or limit orders. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you do have further questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below or head over to a community forum. It's community.optimistfutures.com. Post your questions under the ATAS order flow trading software, um, you know, section on our forum. If you're not familiar with the forum, there's going to be a link down in the description, which you can also take. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more ATAS content. And as always, thanks for watching.